Well, hi, it's Cindy with Cindy Lifestyle and more. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to talk about 2022 favorites. The favorites that I've started using, that's my dog, <laughs> and the favorites that I have been using. They're starting to do firecrackers and she's getting a little scared, so. It's New Year's, Happy New Year's to everyone. And I hope it's all safe and I hope you enjoy yourself and um, have a good evening and also have a good day. But on my videos, I'm gonna be talking about the favorites that I do enjoy using and some are been using for a while and some that I've just started using. So you'll see that as well. But before I forget, this is something that I think I forgot to do on my video. And this is Chiseido Eye Curler. This is phenomenal. Now I know why customers come in all the time and buy this. Now I've been using eye curlers all my life. And usually you've probably seen in the past, I'll use an eye curler and I'll go like one, two, three. I'll like press a few times. This, oh my God, you do not have to go. You press once and your eyelashes go right up. It is amazing. And now I know why that this does so well. And customers, you customers have sold it to me because when I'm, as a beauty advisor, as you know, I'm a beauty advisor, when I'm selling products, they come in and this sells all the time. And now I know why it's their favorites. Now I know why it's your favorite. Now it's my favorite because it curls your lashes you just have to go once and don't go too hard because it may can kind of pinch it, pinch your little lashes, but it is awesome and I love it. So it's very, very good. So I wanted to make sure to let you know that this is also one of my favorites as well. So please watch my video and I hope you enjoy it. So you may know some glare a little bit because the sun is really coming in right now. So like I said, I'm gonna to try to show you my 2022 favorites, but I'm gonna to try to demonstrate it. So the first one, as you know, I talk about it all the time, are cleansing makeup remover towelettes. <laughs> Just talk about it in my empties. But I do use this every day, I use it in the evening, but I also use this in the morning. Now I'm gonna look up close, so I have no makeup on right now, but as you can see, I've got some makeup going on along right in through here. I got some mascara going on underneath. I did wash my face last night. I did use the towelette last night, but I woke up this morning and I must have some still, uh, still leftover residue of mascara on my eye. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna go counterclockwise and taking it off gently. And then I'm also removing any makeup that I have left over. And now I'm ready to jump in the shower and wash my face. So that kind of gives you an idea why I like it so much. The other thing I like, and I'm gonna buy a better one, but I wanted to make sure that I use it. I love my shower cap. I really do. It has the, the elastic going around. It also has a little terry um, lining on the inside. And basically what it does, it just keeps my hair from getting so wet. I've been using it now for almost a year and a half. And I, it's been, it's waterproof on the outside, so it's water resistant and it really works. And I got this at Walmart. I think it was like $3. And I know there's better shower caps, I know that. But I didn't want to invest too much because I wanted to make sure I would use it. Well, I do, and I, I love it. So in between shampoos, this is what I use when I go take a shower so that I don't wet my hair. I washed my hair yesterday, and you can see I still have some curl going on because I use a um, thermal spray when I curl it with the, uh, curling iron, and then with the Velcro. So I still have some curl left, but I want to protect it. So this is another one that is one of my favorites. And basically, I just pop it on my head. Don't look at my roots. I'm getting my roots done <laughs> next week. I pop it on my head, try to get as much as I can in there. I mean, I probably could put a pendant on it, but 
That's okay. I'm ready to take a shower. Before I take my shower, I just brush my teeth and I use a little baking soda on my toothbrush and kind to polish my teeth because sometimes every time I take a shower in the morning or three times a week, I like to use my five minute natural white, um, natural white, <laughs> five minute whitening. And it's a whitening gel. Now I usually get the little bag and I usually get it at the dollar store or I'll get it at the 99 cent store. And I just realized, cause you're, I'm probably talking cause I put some in my mouth and I'm like, oh, I gotta take a video of this. <laughs> cause these are one of my favorites. So I usually get the, the bag. It comes with the little retainer and it comes with the solution. So I'm going to fill the top and the bottom I pop it in my mouth, I take my shower, condition, everything, come out, rinse my mouth, and I don't drink coffee or tea afterwards because I want them to stay white. So right now, I'm gonna go take my shower, and guess what's going in my mouth? My five minute whitening gel. Also, when you use the um, five minute whitening gel, I don't, Again, I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea afterwards, but I also drink, I don't drink any water for about a half an hour. I just want to make sure that it's able to can keep my teeth white, you know, so I don't affect the gel whitening as it's, um, then I start putting something in my mouth rather than drinking water, tea, and coffee. Because when I use my Smile Direct at night, it says on there, when you use your Smile Direct whitening, and it has a little light that goes with it. Don't drink water for a half an hour. That's what it says. And then I can't drink any water a half an hour. Also, I can't put my liners back in in the evening. So I have to wait a half an hour. So I do the same thing with this. And then, of course, no tea and coffee. And read your directions. <laughs> also, I've added Dermaputics Hyaluronic Eye Lift to my skincare. And I've actually put Dermaputics Hyaluronic Lift Serum to my skincare for my face and throat. These have been added to my skincare this year. And I've been using it for about two to three weeks now. And I use it morning and night. I did want to check it out because I wanted to let you know that hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid is widely known for its ability to retain moisture a thousand times of its own weight to be exact. And that's coming from the company. It's another idea that is alternative to pain injectable fillers. So it's for people that don't want to use that. I also wanted to let you know that the hyaluronic lift, I got it at TJ Maxx and it was $5.99. And I got the hyaluronic eye lift at Backstage at Macy's and I got that for $5.99. So I don't know if their price has changed, but that's the price I got it for. So you may want to check your TJ Maxx Max, or Marshall or Backstage. I wash my face and I use a tone and then I use this first. I use about three drops for the face and throat. Let me just get a little bit more. Kind of rub it through. Sorry about the glare, but the sun's coming through. And then I apply it on my face. And I kind of pat and massage it in. If you need a little bit more, just add a little bit more. But I think a long, a little bit is a lot, is enough for our face. Sometimes we feel more and sometimes less is better. Then I use just a small amount of the eye lift. Make, that's it. I just barely tap it, work it with my fingers, and then just pat it on and I work it through the sides here, underneath my eye area, and I don't put it on my lid. That is something I just started on 2022, and I'm gonna be honest, people have told me my skin looks good, so maybe this is a little holy grail, like they say, or a hero product, because so far, it's been working, I've been happy with it, and people have mentioned something to my skin. What are you using on your face? And I've been telling them, my coworkers, that I'm using this. So a lot of times they'll see me upstairs looking in the backstage to see if I can find it because I don't wanna be out of it because for the price that I got it for, of course I'm gonna keep checking. If not, I'll go buy TJ Maxx. But 
That's also one of my favorites too. So I'm gonna to try to talk while I do my little demo. So what I'm gonna show you right now, this is another one of my favorites. This is Chi 44 Iron Guard. This is a thermal protectant spray. As you can see that I have curls from yesterday. So when I use my Velcro roller and the curling iron, right? Use a curling iron with a Velcro roller, but I spray my hair before I curl it. This gives curl to my hair. But if I don't use this thermal protectant, when I curl my hair with my hot tool curling iron, my curls don't last as long. And this is second day hair. So I still have some curl. Now, I got fine hair and I know that. So once I sleep, this kind of goes down for a little bit. So sometimes I won't use a curling iron on top. I'll just put a roller in it or use a hot roller in it and go and just leave this alone. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a demo. I'm going to use, oh, great, this works. <laughs> this is the Iron Guard I spray first. This is like a little rat tail comb. I comb it through. This is a hot tool. I think it's 1110 and I think it's one and one quarter. I work it through. I've got the temperature at 330 right now. What's happening? Thermal protectant Chi Iron Guard is protecting my hair, right? Protecting the heat from the curling iron. I've also used hot off the press. That's really good from Paul Mitchell. But Alta was out of it when I went to go get it. So I tried the Iron Guard 44. But this is a non-aerosol. And sometimes my wrist has a hard time of spraying. I take it all the way up, roll it, and... I'll use bobby pins, I'll use a duck bell clip, whatever I have. I have all my clips right in here. Okay, I'll take the next one, and I'm just gonna be really quick, just to give you an idea. And I do my whole hair like this. I mean, I do, I do five going straight back, and then three, and then sometimes I roll up, or sometimes I roll down, or three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I do one, two, three, all the way down, if I remember, because I do them different ways. So let's see, let me get the back here. You can tell it still has a little curl to it, spray. And I'm using the larger rollers. Oh, moving it through. And I'm being gentle to my hair, kind of holding it. Getting it through there, roll it down, about eight seconds, roll it up. Velcro roller. And then what I do, I let my Velcro rollers stay on my hair and then I go ahead and do my makeup so while it cools. And then, then that's it, all right. I'm going to show my last one. I just sprayed it with some Chi Iron Guard. I'll do it again. Comb it through. And take another Velcro roller. I'm going to work it oh, backwards. And then here's like a little duck bell clip that I also use. So whatever I have in handy. And then normally I would do one, two, three, and then finish the back here. One, two, three, then down. Or sometimes I go up, whatever it depends that I want to do. I also use the belt, um, Chi Iron Guard also uh, with my hot rollers. And one day I'll probably do a, um, a video on that. And then I always spray. So let's pretend I did my whole hair, but I'm just going to spray on top. And then I let it sit. And then I go do my makeup and let it cool. So that's one of my favorites to use with any curling iron and my hot rollers. Protects your hair. Thermal protection from the heat keeps your curls last longer and less frizz on your hair because it's less damaging. And I think this is one and one quarter ceramic hot tool. So this is another favorite. This is Mary Kay blending sponge. Kind of like, I've been using it, you can tell. It's, it's more like their uh, blending uh, blenders, you know, beauty blenders. Oh, God, I can't talk this morning, beauty blenders. This is their alternative. Now, I wash this once a week. It's got a little 
no, no, it's worn out. Why don't we just say that? But I was gonna use this on my empties and I couldn't because I'm like, oh no, I need to use it today because I gotta go to work. So I wash it really well once a week and then let it air dry. And then for an example, just now, I rinsed it under water, rinsed it out, and then it fluffs up. It's got the little pointiness for concealers to get in those little dark, uh, small spots around your eye. And right now I'm using Complexion Rescue um, op Color Opal Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And then I'm using Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in Suede. One's a little too light and one's a little too dark. So I'm going to mix them together. And I just want you to, to see how this works. So I'm just going to blend it in. And th I love their sponges. And the only reason why I tried this is because... My got got gray roots right now. We were out of the beauty blenders at Macy's and I needed some makeup. And uh, I thought, well, since I'm doing an order with Mary Kay, when I ordered my skincare, I ordered their blending sponge and it works. Works just as fine. It doesn't soak up the makeup. The makeup sits on top, just like the beauty blenders and it works and it blends it out. Now you can use this tinted gel, um, moisturizing makeup with bare minerals you can use it over your moisturizer if you just want a very light medium coverage sometimes I use this and I use it under my makeup so I just go under just like that and it works very nicely and then I'm going to take a little concealer here so you can see how it works let's see a little bare mineral concealer original and this is fair. I think I've shown this before. I'm just going to take it. Just a little bit. And I believe you can see that. And it's fair. And then I get in there and blend it. And it works. Blending Sponge by Mary Kay, and that's one of my favorites. This is cooling, so you get a chance to see it. And then, let's see, what else do I have? We'll find out. So my bell crawler's cooled. So I'm gonna take them out, and I try to be really careful. I kind of pull it this way, the way the direction I put them in. So I went this way, I go up. So they don't pull my hair out because people do get worried about velcro rollers you just got to be gentle with them all right let's see let me get the next one get there's a one of those out let me get my little bobby pin out okay here we go okay that one's out and yeah i got one hand here one hand here and i'm gently going Let's see, did I put, oh, I already took it out. Okay, and the same thing here. And that's it. So I kind of let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. I've got some really curls going on there. I Usually I would go get dress and um, uh, put some earrings on. I can still do that right now, but you know, I would let it cool down get ready, you know, put some clothes on, let it sit for a little bit, get some water, and then I would come back and just set it. And I'll do that in just a second. Okay, so I let it dry for a little bit. So I'm just taking a little bit, I'm not really fussing with it, but and that's about it. I'm a little thinner on top. That's why I'm using the oxen, but, I need to, I was gonna do the Oxen empty. I'm gonna to have to do that as a mini video. Cause I'm gonna, I think what I'm thinking of doing is washing my hair in the, sh in, the sh in my sink and then let you watch me do the Neoxin and then the conditioner. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Neoxin has been one of my big favorites, big. But I'm gonna to have to do that separate cause I'm gonna to have to wash my hair, get up, let it, um, you can watch me do it. Then I put the conditioner on, then I do everything else with the treatment and stuff. And that's it. 
And I think you can see the back of my hair kind of gives you an idea. So try not to play with it once you got it curled. And then you're on your way. So I think that's it. I think that's it with my favorites. Again, I was supposed to do Neoxin. I can't do Neoxin because I got to do that separately. But that's my favorite for 2022. That's some of my favorites. So thank you so much. Happy New Year's. And um, we'll see you in 2023. You guys have a great week. Bye. So welcome back. And I hope you like watching all my favorites. And by the way, on the Chiseido eyelash curler, you can buy just a little rubber to refill it if your eyelash curler is still good, good condition. They do sell this as well. Chiseido is an excellent cosmetic line. I wish our store where I live, we would carry a little bit more, but we don't carry as much as other stores. But, you know, where I work at, we still have to order sometimes for our customers. they got a great skincare line. It, it, it's a very good line. But this has sold me. And I sell it to everybody now. Everybody, every customer that needed eye curler, this is the first one that I mentioned. So, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. And I want you to have a wonderful evening. I enjoy all of you. Happy New Year's. Bye.